One thing I'm anticipating the most, and I can't wait to show the marketplace, is the all new interior on the new Kodiak. We spent a lot of time polling customers and talking to passengers and really trying to understand what people liked, what people would like improved from the Kodiak 100. And we really incorporated a lot of changes into the new Kodiak. I think the new Kodiak is a step in the direction of the TBM as far as refinement goes. Dyer's done an excellent job in refining little qualities of, of the Kodiak towards what they do with the, with the TBM. We have a number of uh, major partners that we've worked with here at Kodiak and Dyer for a very long time. We know what our customer wants. We know what they like already in the Kodiak 100. We know what we want to give them in this new Kodiak. And so we worked with that partner for a long time on a new interior. New interior panels on the sides, uh, new layout of uh, a new style seat that's much more comfortable and has a recline capability, seat back pockets, armrests. We wanted maximum flexibility in the interior. And so the same seat, the same passenger seat in this new Kodiak can be installed facing forwards, facing backwards. It can be installed in a double club configuration. It can be installed in a commuter style configuration or some mix and match of that. So really it gives the operator that maximum flexibility to get all eight of those passenger seats in the back or not all eight of those seats, maybe just two of those seats or none of those seats, doesn't matter. We wanted to give the, the customer that complete flexibility. It's just two quarter turns and you can move the seats anywhere. So um, I did a test and I had all eight seats out of the back compartment in less than 10 minutes. It was so simple. I had them all back in in less than 10 minutes. You know, we also even thought about the small things. So every single seat station now has USB plugs. We all have devices, we wanna charge them. All of the headset jacks are limo jacks, so there's no need for batteries anymore. Everybody has plain powered headsets. Um, we even put a little amenity panel where you can put your phone. We really took the best of the auto industry and we really tried to bring it in to the aircraft industry. The Kodiak 100 has been known for the touchscreen controller for the environmental control system, the ECS. And we're really excited because we took that and we, ex we completely disassembled it and changed it. And so now one of the things, being that this is a longer airplane, one thing that's really gonna be important is heating because the higher you go, the colder the air is. And so we actually were able to pipe bleed air from the engine through the entire cabin. This here has a bleed air system that uses hoses that go underneath the airplane the belly of the airplane that come out uh, into ducting on the side of the interior and they do a significantly better job of keeping the passengers warm. We have a, a, a really nice, I think, well integrated design where it moves that hot air right out to the passenger's feet and it's very comfortable. We wanted to make sure that we had a very robust heating system in there as well. So that was key for us on the interior. We've placed the window, so the window is where your eyes are, not below your eye line. So you don't have to bend down to look out the windows. I'm a huge fan of enjoying the flight. I'm not a point A to point B person. I love to really enjoy what I'm flying over, look outside. That's one of my favorite features of the new Kodiak, is the window placement. Any need you might have, or any use you might have for the Kodiak, We've thought about all of those things and really made this an owner's airplane where there's, it does everything really well.